Hello everyone, I am here, and we are back with more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I know it's been a while, I was kind of burned out, but I'm excited to come back today. So, Duel's Cup has been going on, so maybe we'll play some Duel's Cup games to make some gems. But, we're gonna mostly play rank today with a very special deck. You see, first, I want to show you what I've been giving up to in Duelist Cup. In the Duelist uh, Cup matches I've been playing, I did save a replay of a Duelist Cup game. That I played with Pearly. So, let me show you this game. I will do a quick play-by-play -play commentary of this Duel's Cup game I did. I was playing Pearly. So, this was a really crazy game because... Oh, boo. Duel's Cup... Duel's Cup replays don't have the good Duel's Cup music that slows. Um... Um, but anyway, I was playing against Ninja. Uh, the, uh, the crazy new ninja deck. Oh, they, they do some ninja plays here. I have, like, little idea of what these cards do, but I tried to read them as I was playing. And oh, they get, they get the big guy, Battle Ninja. I drop a turn. Oh, I go my friend. I go my friend. They ch they chain Battle Ninja. I g I go cosmic on their back row, but it was just an MST anyway to out my my friend. So I chained a memory to it so I could at least get a Pearl Lily from deck. I just revealed for you delicious so I could set up plump. I go here, pure lily, but they, they went maze in response. Mitsuin's response. Then they gate me and flip me face down. So I just normal regular pearly. Got that. I went delicious here to get the other pearl lily from deck. And that's how I got to plump. So we decide to go plump effect, go mm hungry, eat up the, the spell in the in the uh, grave. Uh, chain this, go mm hungry again. Mm hungry. To get the five. I went plump. Plump here to hungry up the uh, the the battle ninja and go into noir. Mmm, hungry. Uh, I go Noir here to try and get rid of their field spell. Oh, I did a thing where I uh, I used Anima to try and out one of their sets. Uh, they go Notebook here to get Mazen back, unfortunately. And get the, the new Ninja field spell. They go Kaime to get a uh, young uh, younger Baru and send the uh, send my my friend. They attacked into Noir for some reason and phase. And I drew Eep for turn, which is kind of nice. 
I thought if I could survive for one more turn, I could eep into happiness and go for the uh, happiness OTK. I go eep here. They they went maze and response. Get Mitsu. I eeped into ha uh, small happy. Yeah, I went to small happy here. And then I went eep the shuffle back of my kitties. And then we just go into Big Happy. They went Mitsu in response. But I had called by the grave because I knew they had a Mitsu in their graveyard, so I called by to negate the Mitsu. But they chained Mazen, which that's fine. Well, they get another one. But, uh, but most importantly, I can negate the Mitsu. They, they can't flip my happy face down. And then Happy is just able to attack in, in, into like uh, nearly everything. And burn for a bunch of damage here. I can only attack three times, so not quite lethal, but we can make a big ass Zeus. Seven material Zeus, by the way. But and they 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 go for some plays here. They try to reestablish their their board with uh, Tenchu Common. I just go Zeus and try to clean them up again. Uh, it goes to their turn. They draw. They're on like one card. So they really can't do anything when they're on one card. And that's how I won. Really crazy grind game. I really had to work my butt off to be able to pull this back. I, like I was sure that I was not going to be able to break their board. But I managed to pull it off. I guess they couldn't out noir. Um, but this led me to believe, man, like even playing like a good deck like Pearly, I have to put in so so much per work and play perfectly to be able to cloy my way back to a win. That takes a lot too much effort. But thankfully, one Jeffrey Leonard came to my rescue. So, why play a good deck with a lot of, like, back and forth that has to play these grind games and y you have to be on for and think all the time, when I could just play an FTK? So, it, for those of you who don't know, um, at YCS Indy, um, Jeff Leonard played this. <laughs> It's a combo deck that is meant to add all five pieces of Exodia through Time Star Magician and Blue Dragon Summoner. <laughs> I'm not going to go through the card. You can watch uh, the uh, Jeff Leonard's actual uh, deck profile that's on Simo's channel if you're interested. But I adapted it a little bit for Master Duel. Like... In the form of a Rise Heart, we kind of need Kaijus. And I felt like, um... I don't have the Cerebuses because they're URs in Master Duel, so I just replaced them with their Earth Insect. So... But let's, uh, let's see how things go with this. Let's see if we can't get some free wins in gold with Jeff Leonard's superb dish. We all we lost the guy roll, that's a bad sign. Oh. It sucks 
that we're going second, but that's why we have the Kaijus and that's why we have Mexi. We'll just drown Godaro an easy clap. What did I say? Now, if they end on nothing, this hand kind of just wins. We have the one card combo in Sublimation Knight and Neo Space Connector. Depends on how hard they decide to go. Normal summon Dark Lord Uko back. Okay, so we got a bit of a Dark Lord gamer. Sensor Perbia. Um, Allure. I don't think Ixchel beats the Kaiju in hand, though. True. Uko back, back row pass. What does the guy do? Back to the guy in grave. This shit literally does nothing. If their trap card doesn't target us, we are we are we are golden. I'm worried about their cards in hand though, so we're gonna go Neo Space Connector. We're gonna do the uh, Aqua Dolphin line. If they have they have something to the gate, we have Fire Flint Lady. So we'll go Aqu Aqua Dolphin here. We're gonna go Aqua Dolphin. Take a look. Take a Take a quick peek. Uh, we'll pitch the, uh, um, I think we'll, we'll pitch the Renaud. We still have a Renaud in deck. Take a quick peek. Oh, they just have an Austin. That's fine. They don't have a hand trap, so that's good. Um, we can just go ice hold here. You women. We'll go ice hold here. That back row better stop ice hold or you it's Jover. Like, uh the uh, they win if it's in perm, but like Alright. Uh we add our seven. Seven scale, and we uh, we send the the, the 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 equip. Well, we'll send one to grave, then our equip. Special renowned from deck. Go renowned. Add our equip back. And we'll, we'll go ahead and do this so we can get Ign uh, Ignis Phoenix. What are they thinking on? They're certainly taking a while every time pa priority gets passed back to them. 
We'll add the Eagle of Phoenix. And from here we go, uh, we scale the seven and scale the Ignis Phoenix so we can pop both of them. Wait, we need to do this. Let's add the two. Add the two scale. Go Ignis Phoenix. So we can uh, do the thing. Uh, summon the the one that needs to become a tuner So we can get the rocks And what summon symphonic warrior rocks We'll go rocks effect and let's add back our uh, our uh, seven scale. Add back our seven scale. And that's a pendulum mounted effect monster on board, so let's go beyond the pendulum. I will go BTP, pay our life points. Dark Butter to show someone Dark Right Hander, they control one face up monster your opponent controls until the end phase. I don't think that stops BTP from resolving, right? Nope, it still resolves. It still gets us harmonizing. I I don't know how much this is gonna matter. Um, probably not, right? Because we can get enough material on board, I think. I'll go Crusader. Let's scale up. Scale up. And we're gonna have to pen summon quite a bit to have enough material because they, they took PTP with the Dark Lord trap. Um, so we can pen summon here. We do have to summon everything. We have to summon Ignis Phoenix and summon our whole hand to have enough material. Oh, that's a problem, actually. We might need Squeak Knight. Uh, no, we have a piece in hand. We have a piece in hand. We do not need to uh, make Dinoster. That's actually not a problem. Um, let's quit Squeak Knight. That's so we can get extra extender. Let's make Time Star. I was revealed to them what we're up to. Uh, why can we not summon Celine? Ah, uh, we lose. Because they stole BTP, we lose. We lost to the Dark Lord trap because it, it turns off the combo. 
We can't summon Celine. Because they took BTP. <sighs> we were just blown up by the steal of BTP. Uh, damn, they held that fucking Dark Lord trap for forever. Uh, we'll go connector. Let's check for hand traps. Okay, they're gonna max see us, but unless they're also on Exodia, it doesn't matter. Um, let's catch what's Aqua Dolphin. Um, we'll pitch the Shade Brig. I guess we'll take uh, take one of their cloaks. Um, Oh, we already have the seven in hand. We can add the two. Um, Ignis Phoenix. Um, scale, scale. Pop both. Got two in the hand already, so we can just grab another seven. Go eat with Phoenix. Get this. Rocks. Rocks. We could just add in this Phoenix back. Um Pendulum. Harmonizing. Um let's scale. Pen summon. 
One, two, three, four. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I can probably come close. I have instant contact. So I can somewhat negate that mistake. By just instant contacting into this. To get an extra material. And then activate this effect. Replacement effect. <laughs> um, <laughs> they DC'd. They saw what I was doing, and nope, I'm not being in a loop on karma video. Oh my god, my stream's going pretty, uh, pretty well so far, alone, and I just started. Well, Rota gets us to uh, another extender. We could like Rota for like any extender. I do want to use Aqua Dolphin. I want to like maybe go for Junk Forward. So I can use Aqua Dolphin in hand to check for hand traps. Let's pitch the maxi, we do not need it. Okay, trap trick. Well, they can't interact with me at all. So... Let's keep going. Get the seven. We have a two in hand already, which is nice. Um, let's uh, let's dump our equip and get Renaud. Renaud, re add our equip. We'll go equip to Renaud. And let's get it, this Phoenix. And... Scale, scale. Pop up. Get a replacement seven, because we already have a two. There you go, Drake of Slayer, summon another Gallant from deck. And then go to Rocks. Rocks. You have the 7 and 2 in the hand already, so 
we can just go grab it the thing like back. And let's go beyond the pendulum. Get harmonizing. And we're good to pen summon at this point. So let's go scale the two, scale the seven. Now let's pendulum summon. That and these two. Harmonizing. Purple Poison, Time Star, Time Star Effect, add the Head of Exodia, Replacement Effect, Sun Blue Dragon Summoner, Now we can uh, go for Selene. Blue Dragon Summoner. Cross Sheep. Blue Dragon Summoner at a piece. Thy Noster. Blue Dragon Summoner. Next Selene. Next arm, Selene, Blue Dragon Summoner, Selene number three. And last three tokens. We dragon summoner. Apo for the last piece. Biden blast. Biden blast. Not for your mic, you Biden blast.
Let's keep going. <laughs> of climbing through the ranks. I'm um, going second. Well, I'm great as GX role player. Can I beat Hero with a Maxi in hand? Yep, they're a Hero role player, all right. And yes, I will Maxi on D Force. Did they have the call by to own me, though? Ah, uh, yeah, they did have an ash boss. It took them forever to use it. Oh, well. It depends on how many negates they set up. I think we lose if they, if they establish plasma, we lose because plasma is skill drain and we can't beat skill drain. I mean, it's possible we could draw into Gradarla and that would get us out of this situation, but... It depends on what they end on. If it's just Plasma or they're doing more. DPE, I'm guessing. Yeah. DPE is also a bit of a problem. Okay, so it's, it's DPE set path. We can, uh, oh, we do another extender. We can contest the DPE, maybe. Well, the problem is if they pop I sold is the problem. If they pop us all day, we're fucked. I want, let's see where this goes. Let's see where they decide to DPE me. Powerpoint lady. See if they want to trigger DPE now. Or 
let me keep playing. Okay, I think the play is we summon the first ISOLD and see if they DP us. Because we do have the second ice hold. And we can get to it. We'll go ice hold here. Let's see if they DPE now. Okay, no DPE. Um, let's add the seven. Let's try to send for the equip. Renaud. Uh, Durandal. Um, Renaud. Yeah, we lose here. Uh, them DPing here cuts us off of Ignis Phoenix. Th they knew exactly where to DPE. To turn off the entire combo. Because popping Renau to Dare prevents us from go from using Durandal, which prevents us from getting to Ignis Phoenix. Uh, the only way we were winning that game is we drew some kind of out to DPE. We needed to draw Ghadarla, and we didn't draw Ghadarla. Well, this time we do have Ghadarla and the combo. So, and we have Maxi too on top of that. Okay, so Trap Tricks. Let's go ahead and Maxi. All right, Sarah. Okay, I think we got enough extenders that we can contest one trap hole. Okay, so so it's uh it's Holothea. Oh, good. We're drawing into more extenders, which is what we need to beat trap tricks. And there's Mermello. Like if they make one of the Xyz, we can out the Xyz with uh with uh Godarla. Like if they make Rapalesia, we just out the Rapalesia with uh Godarla. Uh, or that one.
Oh, we even drew into the Ignis Phoenix. They are really playing into this maxi. Okay, so we have to contend with three possible counter traps. But we need to roll up for Neo Space Connector for sure because we drew into Blue Dragon Summoner. Meaning we need to get the Aqua Dolphin. We have to get to Aqua Dolphin. So we have to... I think the first order of business is we need to get Darla their Xyz. Let's start with a free special. Let's see if the free special baits a uh, a uh, potential trap hole. I can go like fire flint lady. To, to get to an ice hold. We still need to dump Blue Dragon Summoner somehow. We gotta get to Neo Space Connector for that reason. Um, so I actually think we, uh, we go for the first ice hold and see if they trap hold there. Well, we have the equip in hand, but... The, uh, frankly, they're, uh, we're, we're, we can still resolve the other effect by summoning the other ice hold. Or does this negate and destroy? Um, uh, we, we can try again with the second ice hold. Um, okay. Uh, we lose. They don't have a hand anymore. We can't dump Blue Dragon Summoner beca because of, because they, they set their whole hand. Thus, we, uh, and that means we can't resolve Aqua Dolphin. But I don't think we were ever playing through Trap Trick Spore going second. Because we just don't have back, ro uh, back row removal. Uh, this is a rough one. 
We actually don't have the combo. Because Fire Plant Lady is only one warrior. And Gallant would require a, tr a, a tribute. We have to pass. We don't have two warriors. We bricked. We bricked on Gridarla and the fucking Moon Mirror Shield. Uh, SJ, I need to resolve Dolphin last game because I drew Blue Dragon Summoner off of, uh, off of, uh, uh, Maxi. So I couldn't dump it from deck with, uh, Time Star. Time Star can only dump from deck, not from hand. Oh uh, well, we're dead. Duelist B opened opened the the the, the OTK. We were never winning because our opening hand didn't have two warriors. Because we burped on non engine. Oh, Magical Midbreaker Field kind of goes hard. Means we can't be targeted during our entire combo by uh, hand traps. Well, obviously they could like Maxi, but like I don't give a shit about that unless they're also on Exodia. Mm, they're thinking about Maxiing me in draw. Uh, too bad for them, I have called by the grave. And Sublimation Knight's a one card combo. I don't know why they're taking so long to decide on this maxi. Here they would have shotgunned then. Maybe they're AFK? They might actually time out. Oh, I guess they had connection issues. Alright, um... Well, anyway, start a main, Midbreaker. Sublimation Knight for Squeak. Go Squeak Knight. Activate Squeak Knight's, uh, summon. And then... Very important, do not use this effect. Um, that's, uh, let's, let's do it. Let's go, sold. 
All right, no interruption. Um, let's add the seven. We have the two in hand already. That's even sweeter. Let's go send our web. Renaud. Get the equip spell back. Run out. Send for Ignis Phoenix. And go scale scale. Pop. Add the other seven. And let's go Ignis Phoenix. And a uh, special one of these from deck. We can go rocks. Add that King of Phoenix. Beyond the Pendulum. Harmonizing. We are good to pen summon now. Harmonizing. Purple Poison. Time Star. Um, add the head. Replacement effect. Blue Dragon Summoner. Now go for Selene. Selene. Blue Dragon Summoner. Cross Sheep. Blue Dragon Summoner. Exodia Peace. Dynoster. Cross Sheep back to the Blue Dragon Summoner. Selene again. Lean. Blue Dragon Summoner. One more Selene.
Thumb it back one more time. Apple Lucifer game. Hmm. Biden blast. Want to collect some rewards really fast? I want to use some of my gems to open some packs. Oh yeah, I want to try and pull Thrust. I kind of need Thrust for some of my other decks. Thrust would be useful to have. Let's see if we can pull for Thrust. I also kind of want the Rescue Ace cards, too, uh, for when uh, Rescue Ace gets better, because I do, I kind of want to build Rescue Ace. So I will gladly take Rescue Ace cards, too. Uh, I am breaking every single Arise heart I see, though. We're getting a lot of the spells for Rescue Ace. No Hydrant yet. I'm sure Hydrant's an Ultra. Dynamondo. Uh, here's Ultra Rare. Uh, no whammy, no whammy, no right heart, no right heart, no right heart. Oh wait, I did see another Rescue Ace name I needed though. Uh, what was that Rescue Ace name? It was like a little rarity card. Oh yeah, fire engine. I got a glossy fire engine. That's kind of cool. No frost, unfortunately. That's what I really wanted was frost for uh, Pearly and some of my other decks. Let me open a new deck really fast. I want to see what how many rescue ace cards are in in here. Okay, so we pulled one fire engine, one field spell. We pulled enough of the spell traps, I think. We just need rescue. We're just missing rescue, but rescue's a rare. We can craft that. Because I think you play one of the most of these. 
So I can just craft rescue. Impulse monitor and airlifter are all SRs. We just need to pull hydrant and turbulence. Like I got enough SR points to just craft all my airlifters right now. Uh, we don't play, uh, I don't think we play monitor. We might need to, but like the other important one to craft is impulse. Um, holy crap, we got a, we, we crafted a royal impulse. Let's go. Let's go. How do I pull it up? Card info. Yeah, but it's cool that we got a, a uh, royal rare uh, impulse. That's kind of cool. We still don't have any fire attacker. We just need to pull that turbulence and that hydrant. And we need like, we need like free hydrant pretty desperately in order to play the deck in the future. Let's uh, get our rewards. Um, let's, let's play you a few more games now that I've opened some packs. Uh, Mr. Letters, that should get us some more good gems towards that Rescue Ace deck. And towards those thrusts that I need. Uh, because I definitely need myself thrust. I, granted, I don't even have talents yet, but I do need thrust. Um, Neo Space Connector and Junk Forward. I think we want to Junk Forward in case Connector gets ashed. Go Neo Space Connector for Aqua Dolphin. Let's check and see if the coast is clear. I'll pitch this other junk forward. Oh, we have a problem. We drew purple poison. Can harmonizing summon it from hand? I forget. Oh, we can pen summon it. We can pen summon it. It's no big deal. Um, I guess we we pick this. Yeah, but it's too big. Um, we can go ice old here. Renowned. Oh, no, first we add our scale. Right, we add our seven. And then we go this effect to dump. Special summon round now. Get it back.
Ignos Phoenix. Get the low scale. And special summon the uh, the six. Make rocks here. We'll use rocks to uh, get back to the seven. There we go, beyond the pendulum. harmonizing and we're good to pen summon Ignis Phoenix and we could just pen summon out both of these drawing it did not cause problems like I thought it would Time Star. Oh wait, replacement effect. Forgot about that. Very important step. Almost made a very bad misplay. Clean. Clean effect. Cross sheep. Oh, we can't make the Noster. That's a problem. Because we didn't get Gallant on field, because because our combo got kind of messed up, because we weren't able to get the Gallant, because our arrows were clogged by junk forward. Oh no! Yeah, we lose. I put Drunk Ford in a suboptimal spot at the start of the game. That's what cost me that game. I have to make sure the middle zone is free. Because of the of the uh, sideways arrows on Beyond the Pendulum and on, uh, on uh, Cross Sheep. I mean, this is pretty reasonable. As long as I don't over summon, I won't have the same problem I did last time. Let's go Aqua Dolphin. They're gonna max see me, but I don't care. 
but we're gonna go Aquadolph in here. We don't need the red layer anymore. Well, this is a bit of a problem. Opening this. But I guess that's what that's what Moon Mirror fueled this for. Um, um I guess by all select ray. Looks like they don't have any other hand traps. Um go into ice hold. Ice hold effect. More the seven. Get moon mirror shield. Dump moon mirror. Or this. Go Renaud. We can just get Red Blair back, I guess. We can go here, here, this, for this. Scale, scale. Get the two. And let's summon up Gallant. We have a two and a seven. We need to get the seven back. All right, beyond the pendulum. This time the zones are free this time. So the pen summon should go how it's supposed to go. Infinite impermanence. Well, Fuck me, I guess. We at this point we might need to to fucking get ninety UR dust and craft the fucking Cerevises. At this point, we might need to craft the fucking Cerevises to not lose to Imperm. Uh, let's switch gears. Uh, let's let's go play some Duelist Cup games with Pearly. I want to switch gears. I played enough games. Yeah, but the problem is, is that like uh, Seravis is a UR in Master Duel, and I have to open the Herald pack to pull them, and I'm low on UR points. And plus, there's a bunch of other URs I have to craft for my other decks, like uh, the Frost, the fucking uh, the talents the uh i need i need dark ruler really badly um but i'm gonna switch gears and we're gonna play duelist cup because duelist cup is worth a lot of gems i'm not gonna play jeff's deck in duelist cup though i'm gonna play pearly because it's the best deck i have for duelist cup
I mean, his hand's decent. As a maxi me and draw, I have called by. Um, I guess we try it. All right, that worked. Let's go for my friend. My friend. Let's go, let's go delicious, delicious, delicious. Uh, let's go delicious. We'll select Pearl Lily. And then we'll we'll go discard one special pearly. Uh we'll we'll discard the pearly we have in hand, I think. And try to get a pearly out so we can excavate. Let's go and excavate. Imperm, imperm. Oh, there's a memory. That's good. All right, we'll go per Lily here. Uh, select delicious. Uh, go to plump. Mmm, hungry. We'll go happy memory. Chain plump. Mmm, hungry. No. I probably don't need the duster. Let's special the uh, other pearly from deck so we can excavate again. And then we can make like princess sprite. Nope. Excavate again. What's that street? Oh, ooh, the field spell is very nice. Um, let's go mm, hungry again to get our, our our feather duster. And we can go pretty chain plump and we get to noir. Mmm, hungry. No, we will not discard. Um, we can go like print the sprite or slacker. I actually think we're going to go slacker here. And then we're going to set this. Let's make the boy. Hey, 
and the path to turn up. Uh, we'll activate we'll activate the field spell and then phase. And we can do this to attach Sleepy so we can draw on their turn. Out my war uh, noir, Dumbo. Uh, let's go sleepy and draw. Oh, Max V, very nice. Like, shockingly good draw off of sleepy. Uh, battle. Uh, do they have evenly matched? Oh, they did. They had nothing? Go straight for early street, I guess. Um, I guess I'll attach. I guess I'll attach happy. I'm not going to bother prospying. What I'm going to do here is... We're going to change a slacker to attack. And we're just going to get in for 200 here. And then just make Zeus. And we just go downward Zeus. Not a big Zeus, but like... Zeus Noir seems unbeatable. Backed up by Maxi. Oh, we we should we should do my friend as well. Uh let's go. Let's go delicious sleepy eep. Oh, they gave us Eep, which is kind of nice. Okay, the basic plan is like... Uh, Zeus is gonna be a backup plan if they can out Noir. But with how much materials I'm getting on this Noir, that's le less and less likely. I got several Noir activations before I lose tower status. So I can I can chain Noir like at least two times before I lose towers. That seems pretty good. Especially backed up with Zeus. Uh in standby. I'm gonna make their life hell. And we'll go sleepy to draw. It's burn? 
someone is playing a burn in Duelist Cup. Ukali, can they kill me? Do they have an 8k damage worth of burn in their hand? I think we're gonna chain Noir here. We'll detach this and pretty. I'm sending this back to the deck. I have enough materials on Noir, I could bounce all the their trap cards back to their bottom of their deck. I, in fact, I'm going to do it, because I think I can win the game from this position. We are going to bounce all their trap cards. I don't think I need Tower's Protection anymore. But, well, we can get most of them. I'm gonna keep Sleepy so I can draw. But I can get rid of three out of four of their trap cards. Let's see if I pick the right ones. And then on end phase, we'll go Eep. To uh, change this to happy. Oh, we could do plump actually, because we have a delicious in hand. And we can go eat to shuffle back some cats. Street, and we can get some spells back. Or get a spell attached to it. We can get uh, Sleepy reattached. Actually, I need to check influence. I have a Sleepy on it already. I can get like a Happy. So we can go for the Happiness OTK. And standby main. Let's get, let's go delicious. Cemetery bomb. I don't think that kills me. I don't know if that kills me. No, it does not. I guess, I guess we'll do this. And I'll do this. I'll, I don't need the prosperity. And we can we can get back a pure lily.
No. We can add uh, my friend. You can go plump. Go delicious, pretty. And that gets us to X pearly happiness. And that's game. That should be game. Pretty much. I might be a little off lethal. I'm not sure. No, exact lethal. Oh, uh, didn't even gain a dual level from that. You know what, I think that'll do it for Duel's Cup, because Duel's Cup games does take a lot of plot, because Pearly is kind of a difficult deck.